With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, a point moves along a circle with speed here as v equal to 80. The total acceleration of the point at a time when it has traced 1 by 8th of the circumference is. Hence, we can say here, suppose this is our circular path. Now, 1 8th of the circular track here implies that, suppose this particle starts from this point here. Now, 1 8th means, this is our quadrant means 1 4th. Now, 1 8th part here will represent half of this. So, here 1 8th of the circumference means, we have the distance covered here as 2 pi r divided by 8. So, at this position here, we can say, suppose the particle here is along this position. Now, here we have the speed as 80. So, we need to find total acceleration as at this point. Hence, we can say here, first of all, the tangential acceleration, which will be equal to rate of change of velocity here, which is let's say equal to our d by dt here velocity varying as function of time we have here as 80 hence this comes as our a into we have here as d by dt of t so dt dt cancels out it is 1 so we have here as a so the tangential acceleration we can say here this comes to be our let's say a hence the tangential acceleration here is our a now velocity is along this direction so we can say here the centripetal acceleration will be along the let's say radius so we have the centripetal acceleration here given in the question as v square upon r hence we can say here the speed at this position is 80 so we can say here as 80 whole square divided by we can say here as radius r so, we can say here, this comes out to be our as a square into t square divided by, we can say here, as r. So, we can say here, at t equal to 0, that is at this instant, when it starts its motion, we have the speed as 0. Now, here we can say, when it covers 1 eighth of the circumference, hence the distance here will be from this point to this point here this distance is the circumference 2 pi r divided by 8 this is the total path traversed so we have here as s equal to ut plus we can say here as half of a into t square now we can say here s is the let's say total distance which here is our 2 pi r divided by 8 Initial velocity is given to be 0 and tangential acceleration here we can say here is our a into we have here as t square. So, this gives us t as this comes out to be pi r by let's say 2. So, this comes as pi r divided by 2 and this here a comes to this side. So, this here is the time at this position. So, at this position, its speed v here can be written as 80. So, 80 whole square gives us a square t square by r. So, this simplifies as a square upon r and here t square gives us our pi r divided by we have here as 2a. So, we can say here our tangential acceleration here is a and centripetal acceleration value we have here rr cancels a a cancels so we have here as a into pi divided by 2 so this is the centripetal this is the tangential we need to find here the net acceleration so we can say here the net acceleration will be the resultant of centripetal and tangential since they are perpendicular to each other so we have here as under root of ac square plus at square as this comes out to be our a pi by 2 whole square plus at we have here as a so a square so taking a square here common and out of this root we have here as a 
and square root of here pi by 2 square gives us pi square by 4 plus we have here as 1. Hence we have here as a upon 2 under root of this comes as pi square plus we can say here 4. So we can say here a by 2 under root of 4 plus pi square which we can see here our option number 4 is the correct answer. Hence we have 4 as our answer. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.